Hi, I'm Terry Henry, founder of TerryHenryMarketing.com. Typically, I'm behind the scenes marketing chefs and restaurants, but today I'm the one in the kitchen, and I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious jalapeno cheese French toast. So it's a savory French toast. Most people think of French toast as sweet, but we're gonna, we're gonna do one that has a little punch. We're gonna start out with 12 slices of bread. You can use any type you like, but I happen to find this green chili cheese bread in my market and thought it would be a great addition to, to and add a little flavor punch. So I've jumped the gun a little bit here and I've got six slices in a nine by 13 inch pan and I've spread a little bit of mustard on them, a little bit of Dijon mustard. Next we're gonna take pickled jalapenos and then just spread them over the cheese slices as many as you want. I happen to like things a little spicy, so the more the better, but uh, you may want to limit it to two or three for some, some of your guests. And then we are going to add a little bit more cheese on top of that, on top of the jalapeno peppers on each of the slices. Next, we're going to top with another slice of bread. So what we need to do now is spread just a tad of mustard on each side and then top. Just We're making basically little sandwiches. Okay, next we're gonna come over to our eggs. We've got 10 large eggs, which we're gonna whisk up. Break all those yolks up, get them nicely, nicely whisked up. And then we're gonna add a cup and a half of whole milk. That's gonna give this a nice, rich consistency. And when your eggs and your milk are incorporated, we are gonna gently pour them all over the little sandwiches in the pan. You wanna make sure that all the bread gets moistened. There we go. Now next, we are gonna cover our pan with foil and we're gonna refrigerate it at a minimum of two hours, but you can also do it overnight. So you have a Sunday brunch and you can make this Saturday, put it in the fridge, Sunday morning, take it out, bring it to room temperature. Then we're gonna pop it into a 350 degree oven covered for 30 minutes, and then we're gonna bake another 30 minutes with it uncovered. Look at that toasty deliciousness. Now we can easily cut them into individual pieces. There we go. And remember, this is a savory French toast. So what else are we gonna add other than a spoonful of salsa and of course a little dollop of sour cream. And you may even wanna garnish it with one more jalapeno slice. Doesn't that look delicious? I'm Terry Henry with TerryHenryMarketing.com. Thanks for baking with me today.